Hi Capricorn, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys for liking the video. I really appreciate all of your likes, shares, comments, and your subscribes. We're gonna get started with whatever comes out. So important messages for your sign, Capricorn. There will be timestamps in the comment section pinned to the top so you can bypass any parts of the reading that you're just not interested in. Important messages for Capricorn. You be traveling. I see traveling. I also see some of you guys could be traveling for work specifically. Um, but I'm definitely getting a message here of you going at something alone, trying to figure something out, how to be alone, how to be stable alone. I feel like you guys are going to go within and try to figure something out here. So what's the answer to that? What's, it, what's Capricorn's advice for that? Page of Wands. It's telling me you know what you want. Some of you guys are trying to figure out something here, or you're trying to figure out how to progress in life, or how to become independent in life, or how to become more stable. Page of Wands, Queen of Swords. It says you already have the power to do this. Hmm. You already have the wisdom and the capability to be independent, stable. For some of you guys, you will be traveling, okay? But I'm also getting like changing jobs, positions. I heard positions, more money. This involves more money, seven of pentacles. Your investment's paying off. So some of you guys will be getting promotions is what I'm getting. Now, I'm not quite sure with three of wands, you could be changing jobs in order to receive this, okay? Or, you know, the page of swords is there. So it's kind of like, be on the lookout for opportunities because I see an opportunity to present it that presents itself for you to make more money. Six of Pentacles. That's a raise of some kind. More money. Gifts. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Opportunity. Guys, you're being presented with an opportunity to up your income. Okay, you have to take action on this. Fear is an illusion. What are you so afraid of if you level up? What are you so afraid of? Some of you Capricorns may be afraid to leave a secure position for another. And that's why this hermit energy is here. You're kind of wondering, eh, do I really want that? Do I really want to pursue this? It levels me up, but it also takes me out of my comfort zone. You're really in your head, eight of swords, seven of pentacles, wondering if you should uproot what's already going on in your life or something. It looks better to me, but you do have to trust your own intuition here. The hanged man. Yeah, you're just kind of stuck in limbo, not quite sure what you want. But the thing is, you do know what you want. Okay. Pisces energy. I'm just seeing an opportunity presenting itself for you. Some of you guys, it's a side hustle with the three of pentacles, but Others of you, it's you pursuing a career opportunity here. Some of you guys may be filling out applications with the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. I'm seeing a job interview here coming up for you. Those of you that recently went on a job interview, I get you calling. I get a call back. There's going to be a call back here. A company wanting to invest in you. Anything else? The devil. Ten of pentacles, three of wands, the sun. I just get you asking the question, like, what will make me happiest? This could pertain to any area of your life, but it's almost like you're, what will make me feel the most freedom? What will make me feel the happiest? Two of Cups, the Emperor. Guys, this is a career message, okay? I see you coming into alignment with a higher position or a new place of employment here, but you're asking yourself if it's worth it. 
leaving something else behind that you've known for a while or something along those lines. No, I don't take it if it doesn't resonate. You'll be okay if it doesn't resonate with you. It's for someone else then. This is general. Six of Pentacles, the star, eight of wands. You're being guided to move forward, but trust your own intuition. You're being guided to level up, to move forward, to make some sort of change. What does that say? It says, I am a leader. You guys are going to be put in leadership positions, or this is what you're capable of. Okay, this is what you're, you're capable of this. This is kind of something that you're meant to do. You are a leader in an effort to accomplish great things. You recognize the value of working with others. You make capable and compassionate. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement. So it's like, you're not, you're not a boss. You're a leader. Big difference. Okay. You're, you're not wanting to boss people around. You're wanting to lead them in the right direction. I feel like you actually have some concern. I feel like you actually care. You're the type of person that, you know, you wouldn't ask anyone to do anything that you wouldn't do yourself. And that is you have leadership skills. Bottom of the deck, you're being asked to have courage, be courageous in this endeavor. Oh my gosh. Hold on one second. Okay. I almost spilt my water, y'all. Okay, your girl's clumsy. Hard to believe, I know. <laughs> oh my God, throne, position of authority, hello. I'm so extra. This is what you're meant, you're meant for this. Butterfly, some sort of change happening in your life, transformation for the better. A change for the better. So you guys are a little nervous about it, though. Could be resisting it. This is like not believing in yourself enough to pursue something you want or that you know you're capable of, but you also know it requires a bit of change. Butterflies can be significant. Let's see. Also, the thought of maybe committing to something, okay, may... Knowing that it, once you change, you have to commit to it. I do feel like you're going to be walking into a higher level of commitment within your love life as well. I'm definitely seeing a marriage here. If you're already in a relationship, I see a higher level of commitment in that. If you are not in a relationship, I'm predicting someone come toward you that is looking for commitment. This person is very loyal. A sincere wish getting granted, but you have the needle and thread. You possess the power to create something here. It's up to you. It's always up to you. Um, side note, there's someone at a distance thinking about you. With the dog far away card coming out. Someone thinking about you at a distance. Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Um, this card talks about more changes entering. This person's also changed a lot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You're going to have to step it up. Believe in yourself. We got the tower, okay? This is a solid foundation, success with effort. You are create. you're building something from the ground up. You're building something from the ground up, Capricorn. I feel like this does involve a significant change. And that change comes with a transformation within self. Those of you that work at a place, if you work somewhere, the higher, higher up people recognize you and your efforts. I'm also getting specifically, you may have recently increased your efforts. 
and there's some appreciation coming from their side, some recognition and reward for that. Those of you that are wanting to be self-employed, if you increase your efforts and you put in the time and the work, there's definitely, there's so much possibility here, but it also comes with so much effort and work because some of you guys would have to be pulling a full-time job or pulling a, a, you know, an outside job along with following your own passions and your own dreams. But it's telling me that you are able to do this. really liking the way you look in the future. I also see you attracting people. People in your environment are really looking at you. I'm also getting Capricorn. If you don't receive a ton of compliments, it's because people think you already know. They think you already know. There's someone here that you've had an ending with thinking about you, wondering about your if you've changed or you're wondering about some sort of transformation here. Wondering who you are now. There's somebody here that you've had an ending with wondering what kind of person you've come to be. This is someone that seduced you in the past or there was a lot of flirting with this person in the past and then it came to an end. This person reflected your wounds. They wonder how you are. Photograph. They look at your social media. Looking at your photos, missing you. So there's someone here that you've had an ending with thinking nostalgically about you. They do check. This person checks in on you from time to time. I'm not saying they're obsessed with you. I'm saying they check in on you from time to time. All right. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and go to the singles. the single Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who's coming toward the single Capricorns? Oh, Lord. Someone you ain't even interested in anymore. Who else? Yeah, this person was a player. They lacked direction, couldn't make a decision. You've had a falling out with someone. Come, that's who's coming towards you. Fire energy, fire sign. Could be a Leo specifically or a Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio fixed energy. Or they just embody that. Who else is coming towards Capricorn? A Sagittarius. Single Capricorns, if you are patient and if you keep doing the inner work and exploring yourself, your soul and expanding, I see you meeting someone that is just like that. Your love life is being divinely guided right now with the temperance card, the world. Like someone here is going to over meet your expectations. You do have this player energy coming back around to test you again, okay? Tarot reads energy. I want to say that this could come in the form of another person that just reminds you a lot of the past. So just be mindful of that. Kind of like a similar situation coming back around again. For a lot of you, it's the same person. Death card. Someone you've had an ending with. Scorpios here. You're, you're, you're moving away from it though. It's telling me you're moving away from it. It's telling me you recognizing that this past person is toxic. They're, they don't serve you yet. Yeah, I feel like I'm talking to the Capricorns that are focused on the new, the single, single Capricorns that consider themselves single. Some of you guys, this Aquarius that wants to reach out. You have a new person coming toward you. 
they're attractive, conventionally attractive. So they they have a lot of they have a lot of friends. I'm getting like they're well known. You're both upon meeting each other. You both are pessimistic about each other, though. Like you don't have. Like, I feel like how you're going to know who this person is, like you go from having hope, you're hopeful in the situation, and then you get pessimistic about it. They're embodying that same energy. So why is that? Emperor. Workplace. Is this a workplace romance, an office romance coming towards you? Or you guys go to the same establishment with the emperor, the king of pentacles? I also feel like there's a lot of um, the magician. Some of you guys, your schedules conflict with each other. And so there's an energy of like, when you meet this person, you both really like each other. There's an instant like, okay, like attracts like energy. And then it's, you guys are kind of hopeful about it, but then it turns into missing each other, not very optimistic about it, wondering who they're around and they're wondering who you're around. But both wanting each other. Could be a conflict of interest there of some kind. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the High Priestess. There's going to be a period of silence. It's short-lived, though. For some of you guys, the period of silence comes from this person traveling. You go from seeing someone to not seeing them. You're going to have so many mixed feelings about this new person. Okay, it's like... I don't even know how to explain this, but three of swords in reverse. So Capricorn, so someone, someone's coming towards you. You actually got someone from the past coming towards you and you have this newer energy coming towards you. The newer energy has good intentions toward you, but there's some sort of issue that arises immediately after meeting this person. It's kind of like you two just have a hard time coming together. There's going to be a period of like hot, like you guys showing interest in one another and then it quickly turns into like misplaced trust, silence, but then it goes back to wanting to see them again. The chariot, justice. You're going to go from like, oh yeah, I'm feeling this person to running away from them. To oh yeah, I'm feeling this person. Then being like, no, 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 I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. And then they show you some more interest and you're like, oh, I really feel this person. And then you're like, no, I don't even care. So what's the outcome to that? Pisces is here. Aries, Libra, fire. What's the outcome for the single? I'm curious. You pushing this person away. Guys, all it's telling me is the outcome is you go from pushing this person away to wanting them, pushing them away to wanting them, and they're doing the same exact thing to you. It's like when there's a little bit of space created in this connection, you both kind of go into this losing all hope energy for each other. Could be a Leo. Let's take a look at the new person. Those of you that already have your eye on someone. this new person they're unpredictable could be a Taurus or a Libra they're unpredictable tell me more about that death in reverse 
Is this the same person from the singles reading? For some of you, it is. For some of you, you guys are just on different timelines here. This person's hot and cold. Scorpio energy. Like they're kind of, you never know. You never know what you're going to get from this person. They could have mood swings or you like perceive them that way. It's hot and cold. It's like someone goes from showering you with attention to abruptly taking it away and then taking it in and bringing it back. Why are they doing this? I just saw the three of cups. Could be a friend of yours or a friend of a friend. Why are they acting like this? Why are they acting like this? Because <laughs> they want you. Nine of cups. This, this person thinks that that's how they're going to keep your interest. Classic. Classic. Inconsistent. This person is inconsistent toward you, but it's strategic. I asked what you should... Let this person come to you. Let me tell y'all something. Somebody's acting hot and cold toward you. Do not chase them. You're going to give them... You're rewarding the behavior. Mm -hmm. They ignore you. Ignore them. I know. I know. Well, it's a game. Isn't it? No. Don't chase these people that are acting hot and cold. Don't do it because you're going to hate yourself if you do. Okay? Let this person be who they are. You be who you are. You stand in your energy. Don't match their energy. I'm not telling, you know... I just feel like if someone is not being upfront with you and they're playing games with you, you definitely should just walk away. I'm not even, don't even ignore them. Just walk away. That, that person's at some sort of weird battle with themselves. And a lot of the times we can get caught up in that. And it's this little never ending story, little dance. Okay. Are they going to communicate with Capricorn? Are they going to communicate with Capricorn? Yes. Mm-hmm. When you walk away and you assert your boundaries, you're, you put your energetic boundaries up and you show someone that that is not something that you're interested in dealing with, you, you draw them like a moth to the flame. They have more respect for you. They realize that you're different. You're not going to put up with the games. I don't think you, you know, how the relationship starts says everything about how the course of the relationship will most likely go. Can you imagine constantly being manipulated by somebody? And letting them do it? I'm not saying this is a bad person. This has worked. This works. It worked for them in the past and they're, you know, naturally trying it. You know, it's just kind of something they naturally do now. Mm-hmm. Page of Wands. Page of Wands is a mischief maker. They're trying to figure you out, right? By doing whatever, whatever it is they're doing. So it's telling me they're going to reach out to you. Ten of Pentacles. They actually are looking for something long term. So give this person space. Let them figure it out. The world. Yeah. Give this person space. I'm actually getting. They'll stop the games. I feel like this person will stop the games if you don't play the game. Some of y'all want to play the game and that's fine. Play it. Play the game if you want to play the game. I'm not judging. We do have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I mean, does playing the game kind of leave you feeling neglected out in the cold, constantly feeling like you have to be steps ahead and that's exhausting and draining. The game can be draining. But I mean, if you want to play it and you're bored, have at it. <clears throat> 
Maria, thank you for the super chat, babe. I appreciate that. Okay, how does this new person truly feel about Capricorn right now? How do they truly feel? They do feel like you are independent. They do feel like you have it together, whether you do or you don't. They feel that way about you. They feel that you are self-sufficient. They like how you can be alone. You give this person the impression that you can be by yourself. Like you don't need to be around people all the time or you don't need to speak to people or you don't need, you give this energy of like, you don't need anybody. Seven of swords. They think you're acting strategically. They think you're playing the game right along with them. Capricorn. They think that you are playing the game, acting strategically right along with them. What are y'all doing? Okay, what do they think about that then? Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands. You really fire this person up. They're actually pretty passionate about you. What do they think about this? The, oh my God. What is wrong with, what, what, what's wrong with y'all? Will of Fortune. They think they've met their match. I Whatever. I mean, the only problem with this energy is it's kind of like they're enjoying. Okay, well, how I want to explain this, it's like they do see you as long-term potential. Like this person wants to claim you. They think you're playing the game right along with them, whether you are or you aren't. They think you are. Um, the Will of Fortune tells me this person, how they think about this is they're wanting to enjoy it while it lasts. The Will of Fortune is that energy of enjoying it while it lasts. So they, they love it. They love it. They love the game. They love it. <laughs> Planning their next move. They love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, look at this. They're planning their next move toward you. They think a lot about this. Like, it gives them something to do. They were bored until you came along. You excite them. I'm just here to give the messages. All right. I'm just here to give y'all messages. I'm just reading the tarot. Let's see. Strength card. Not only, okay, yeah, the three of swords. They love this pain. This, they, I'm not, I don't think it's like pain. Uh, you know, there's definitely some sort of like sting. Strength card, three of swords. They love it. They can't get enough of it. I don't know how to explain it other than that. It's like you have a heavy influence over this person's emotional state. Whether you realize it or not. And in their mind, you're playing right along with them and they love it. They love how composed you are, how you carry yourself. You show strength and character. Like you're a strong opponent, a worthy opponent. <laughs> okay. They love it. So the hanged man, this is them just stalling. So it's kind of like their life right now, just so you know, is kind of up in the air. It's in a state of limbo. They're not quite sure what they want to do right now. And this is the way they pass time. It's fun for them. Okay. Well, will this go anywhere? What's the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome? Is this going to go anywhere? Is this going to go anywhere? Ten of Wands, Page of Swords. It leads to a lot of stalking, a lot of watching. 
a lot of heavy burden. So, what I'm getting, the only thing it's telling me is I do see you two eventually communicating and I see you guys eventually cooperating, like meeting in the middle, but it's after a period of stress. Y'all are stressing each other out. You're stressing the heck out of each other with that Ten of Wands. Page of Swords talks about a new way of communicating. I feel like the game will dissolve eventually. I don't think this is going to be a permanent situation. I feel like there is communication that will eventually come in from the person who gets stressed enough. Whoever breaks, one of you will break. One of you will break and communicate is what it's giving me. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The Emperor. This person finds you sexy as H-E double hockey stick Capricorn. Okay. Do with that what you will. <clears throat> Do with that what you will. Air is here. Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. More Aquarius and more Taurus. More fixed energy. More Sagittarius, Earth, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Those are the main signs. This person could have those signs in their chart. I also have Aries here. All right, let's move on to the current slash past person. <clears throat> okay. Thank you guys for liking the video and commenting on the video. I appreciate it so much. Hermit in reverse. A return. Did someone that ghosted you return to your life specifically? Or, you know, it could be a Gemini or a Virgo. You know, I feel like there's someone here that ghosted you returning to your life, creating more anxiety. If they didn't ghost you, they withdrew. Wheel of Fortune, this is like a revolving door. Strong connection you two share. Hmm. Sagittarius is here. Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. Yeah, Three of Cups. Did you already reunite with somebody? Telling me these energies have reunited with each other. Getting like an unbreakable bond. Like you two are having a hard time separating yourself from each other, distancing yourself from each other. What happened? What did they do? What did they do? Abandon you. So this is about somebody that abandoned you in the past, returning to your life. Or this is something that they're constantly doing, Capricorn. Leaving you out in the cold. How do they see Capricorn universe? How do they see Capricorn? How do they see you? They think you're thinking, they see you as thinking about them. They think you're stuck on them, Capricorn. At least that's what their ego tells them. Lilith, thank, thank you so much, babe, for the super chat. What's this person's opinion of Capricorn? What's their opinion of you? The star? They think you're a star. You stress them out, though. Nine of Swords. They just see you as someone who, first of all, you make them crazy. Or you made them crazy. Aquarius energy. This person is getting some sort of sign. Like, I'm, I'm getting like, this person is literally seeing the universe is talking to them about you. And I feel like they just can't ignore it. It's like undeniable. They're having a hard time ignoring the connection they feel with you. The devil...
Hmm. You live in their head. I do feel like this person obsesses over the situation. Okay. How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about you? Page of Wands. Knight of Swords. They don't want to miss out. They don't want to miss their chance or miss the boat. Somebody's like, don't, don't want to miss the boat. So the Page of Wands is an interest, okay? An infatuation. This person's infatuated with you. Tell me more. Yeah, they're invested. Three of Cups. They want to be with you is what it's telling me. Any way they can. Okay, they just want to be with you any way they can. We got the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They don't want to be without you. So why they why did they why did they do the Five of Pentacles? Why did they neglect you or leave you out in the cold? Four of Wands. Connecting with someone else or something else. Yeah. You know what, though? I don't care who they were connecting with. They still thought about you. King of Swords, the world. I hate to say this, but that connection is either ending or it did end. And now they're coming toward you. Okay. What's Capricorn's advice? Some of you guys could have been connections getting in the way, meaning like someone in their ear. For some of you, not all of you. Some of you guys, it was just literally another connection that has ended. I don't know how it ended or why it ended, but it's telling me it's either coming to an end or, you know, it ended already. Ten of pentacles. Know how to make sure you're stable on your own is what I'm getting. Nine of Wands, Six of Cups. When this person returns, and they will, if they haven't already, some of you guys they already have, okay. And if they have and they left again, they're they're gonna return again. Um, this does give me like someone that's in and out of your life. It's like a reoccurring issue. Know all the facts, okay? I don't, I hate telling you this, but I would not be emotionally open to this person. Because, you know, there's still definitely something here going on. You feel it. You don't trust it. You think this person may be still holding on to something from their past. So your advice is to make sure this person proves themselves to you. Make them prove themselves upon their return. There's a reconciliation coming in. And I don't like the fact that it feels like this person's going to make it seem like it was you all the, all along. And don't get me wrong, like, I'd love to stroke your ego, but there was somebody else here. I don't know why the situation ended. Okay. But it's like they come in and they make you feel like you're the only person in the world again. And that leads you to feel skeptical as you should yeah i'm wondering if they're going to switch up on you again I'm wondering if they've made a decision a permanent decision or wondering if they're going to change their mind again work on yourself okay eight of wands eight of pentacles eight 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 the fool and then the high priestess you're being guided not to jump back into anything too soon or jump into anything too soon. You're being guided not to, uh, it, that's too risky. Don't do that. I feel like there needs to be a, there needs to be a consistency from this person with the eight of pentacles. There needs to be consistent communication. 
um, a decision that is made. Some, you know, there's definitely something here that the elephant in the room needs to be addressed for sure, which could be the other person or, you know, the games that they played toward you in the past. Because I'm literally getting like, don't let this person off the hook once they return. You need an explanation. They need to explain themselves. And if they don't want to, I mean, it would not be smart to jump into this situation. Do they, okay, so what are their intentions toward Capricorn? What are their true intentions toward Capricorn? Two of Pentacles. Hmm. I don't like that. So they have feelings for you, but their true intentions upon returning is having you as an option. They don't want to lose you as an option is what it's telling me. Yeah, they have feelings. Ace of Cups, there's feelings there. But it's like this person's so indecisive. What's their hidden truth? That you inspire them. You're a source of inspiration. Okay, they do see you as the star. The timing wasn't right for you two. That's what they would say to you. That the timing was just off. They wish they would have treated you better. So they are acknowledging that they treated you poorly, unfairly. But the thing is, they can think this all they want. These need to be words that actually come out of their mouth. Right? You need some sort of assurance here from this person. An explanation. What's Capricorn going to do? I just saw the Ace of Swords. You need clarity. What's Capricorn going to do? Most likely. I see you entertaining it when it comes back around, if it hasn't already. I feel like you're going to hear this person out. King of Cups, show them compassion. You know what? Some of you Capricorns are like, and when they return, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and that. And, you know, then they return and you kind of like, even your emotions balance out. And you're kind of like, you know what? I'm going to listen and approach it with kindness. I feel like you guys approach somebody with kindness that doesn't necessarily deserve your kindness. High Priestess is here. Trust your gut instinct. Okay. I feel the need to say, and this, you know, people don't like when I say this. They don't. But I'm going to tell you what I see. High Priestess, King of Cups, Page of Pentacles. I feel like I'm talking to a Capricorn that you do really want to make something work with someone because there's something here that you feel, you feel some sort of special connection with someone or you did in the past. But the thing is, Capricorn... Know your worth is what I want to say. Yeah, people can change. They can. But the thing is, Capricorn, don't have this one set belief that this is the one for you. You know what I mean? Because you can end up wasting a lot of energy and a lot of time on that. But I feel like you're going to hear somebody out. You're going to listen with kindness. We got Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, a lot of Aquarius energy here. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, some fire. This is going to be my last read for this afternoon. I may, I may get on here later. I don't know yet. 
I may get on later on tonight, depending on how I feel. But if not, just turn on your notifications. And my next individual sign readings are probably going to be a little bit shorter. I'm kind of feeling like I want to do some quick messages here in the future. I like to switch it up. Okay. All signs, they're sign for Capricorn. So this is the sign you are dealing with. Universe, clarity for Capricorn. Clarity for Capricorn. I promise y'all I get up. Oh, thank you. I promise you guys, I do get a lot of rest. I make sure I schedule time for my own rest, I promise. 222 in the chat. I do. It may not seem that way, but I do. I have to make a point to tell myself, okay, stop, stop. <laughs> I swear I have ADHD. I'm not diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I do. Okay. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Or like some form of it or something. Or maybe I don't. I probably should not self-diagnose. Probably not the healthiest thing that I've ever done. Give me a second. I'm going to take a sip of water. Oh, God. Okay, I almost choked. All right. <clears throat> Aries through Pisces. So if you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries is going to burden your life. The Aries burdened your life before. They're going to burden your life again. Uh, I would be careful with that. I don't feel like the Aries gives equally. If you're dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus is going to back off. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this is like the Taurus backs off and they come back. They back off and they come back. It's like a constant in and out situation. So if the Taurus has retreated, they're coming back in only to back off again. If you're dealing with a Gemini, uh, they're coming in spontaneously. They're rushing towards you with communication. If you're dealing with a cancer communication coming in, they want to talk. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo starts drama because they're trying to see how you feel about them. The Leo's trying to trigger you or, you know, get a reaction from you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo stresses out about work. I, guys, the Virgo is just more concerned with themselves right now. If you're dealing with a Libra, there's a new beginning. They reach out. I see a Libra reaching out to you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they miss you. But they're the one. So a Scorpio that walked away from you, I feel like a Scorpio misses you, but they walked away from you. If you're dealing with a, Sag uh, a Sagittarius, they're slowly making their way toward you. The Sagittarius doesn't know whether or not to come back. That's why it's taken so long. But I do see eventually the Sagittarius coming in. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're coming toward you to be deceptive. They're coming toward you with some effery. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're manipulative. The Aquarius is coming in, but just know that they, you know, use their words to manipulate you. I feel like this Aquarius thinks very highly of themselves. They think that like they're a smooth talker and then the two of swords, they're not, they're not going to let you in just because they're coming towards you. They still have a guard up. 
If you're dealing with a Pisces, you're in conflict with the Pisces or there will be a conflict that resolves itself. I just, I see this Pisces taking action to resolve an issue with you. If there is no conflict, it's like a conflict happens. I don't know why I'm getting it that way, but it's like there may be a conflict between you and a Pisces that resolves itself quickly. But I do see this Pisces, Queen of Wands, they're attracted to you. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for showing up. This is going to be my last one for now. Uh, you can turn your notifications on, uh, get notified when I go live next if you would like, or you can check my channel later. But I will see you all in the next one. Bye.